Hey, welcome back YouTube. What's up? PB the Fox here with the Ravnica Historical Society. We're going back on the ladder today with Grixis Pact. Uh, let's show the deck list real quick, I suppose. Real quick. It is basically, uh, what's his name's list? I just ripped it off. Uh, Squaw Chief. Great YouTube. I'll link that video below, actually, in the description. Squaw Chief has a great video that came out last week on the Grixis build. Um, just real quick, it's a, it's a painted pack deck. Two packs, two oracles. We've got one packed in the board. No oracle, though. There it is. Uh, I mean, it's pretty standard, blah, 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 right? We're going to play Faithless Looting. Expressive Iteration, this card's crazy good. Uh, Underworld Breach, I haven't got to do anything with it yet. Seems like it's going to be insane, though. Uh, very powerful card. Bone Crusher Giant's just so good. This card is so good. Prismari Command is actually insanity, how good this card is. Uh, like, destroy your artifact, make a treasure is pretty much always what that card does. Uh, Nickel Bolas, I haven't got to play this card either. I'm told that it's really good. Uh, it is good against aggro. It's good against control. It's good against a lot of the field, so we'll see. This card, it's, like, confusing at first, but you just read the first half. Copy target instant or sorcery spell with man value 4 or less, right? So copy uh, Tainted Pact. Or, like, sometimes just, like, anything, right? Sometimes copy Grim Tutor or copy... Uh, What's the other one? Do 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 Masterminds Inquisition? That one's a little more rare. But like sometimes you just like boom boom, get the combo, go. Right? It's, the sideboard's almost card for card. I left the Croxa in because this is supposed to be for the mirror. And I know that uh Squaw was talking about cutting the Croxa because it just wasn't doing anything, but I don't know. I'm gonna leave it in because I've played I just played against the mirror, like right before I started recording today. I was like, ah, oh, you know what? I haven't played any Grixis yet today. Let me play, like, just a best of one just to, you know, get the gears rolling. And my opponent goes turn two Wish Claw Talisman and then wishes and gives me the thing. And I just laughed, said, and then I, like, I used it, right? I grabbed my Tainted Pack because I already had the Oracle in my hand. And then my opponent, like, was on the Loris build, right? So for their turn three, they grab Loris and I just good gamed them, cast Oracle, and then they just conceded. I didn't even get to cast the Pact. So we're leaving the Kroxa in just because I think we're going to see the mirror more often. This card's apparently a big blowout. And then, like, everything's the same. I cut the Liliana and put... We've got this. Sedgemore Witch. I don't know. I know a lot of people will play... Uh, what's the thing? Skyclave Shade. People will play this thing as, like, a recurring attacker. Whatever. I'm just trying Sedgemore Witch because, honestly, I'm in love with the card. It's so good in other applications, and so it's in my sideboard. F it. It's pretty good against control. And pretty good even against mid-range. Like, it's got Menace, so it can actually end the game. Alright, on the play. This hand is bad. Uh, this one goes back. Tap. Ah, shit. It should have been this one. Whatever. Sure. Foxy's you. What you got over there, homie? I'll take the cloth ice. I could have took the scavenging ooze and not let them play that, but I don't really care about the ooze as much as I just don't want this thing pressuring me. I, I could have took that too. Let's do this. He can stomp me, right? Oh, yeah. Today's my lucky day. Might as well. Uh, that's Sulphur Falls into Oracle. No. Yeah. Yeah. Oracle, that way, if we draw something like uh, solve the equation, 
we can get the tainted pact. This will be easy. What was it? It was Gargaroth. Holy shit. All right, well, we're going to lose this game. Maybe not. Maybe not. It is a Lanor elf. You're going down. It's the giant. I gotta hit that. Chandra, like right now. Yeah, I want that one. Island, I suppose. Oh, wait, I thought it cost five. I'm dumb. We're done here. That's all right. That's all right. Whoops. Take six. Yeah, I think playing the ooze is really bad here. If I draw a shadows verdict, it's over. That's not a Shadow's Verdict. Yikes. How many dead creatures we got? Three. Hmm. Let's hit players. Creatures and Planeswalkers, sure. Kill that thing. I still die, right? Unless my opponent goofs. Oh wait, can I not count? I can't count. I can't count. Sorry, right, don't need to count. Oh, uh, that comes in. That comes in. That comes in all the way. Eh, we'll leave it out. No, we'll do like this. I think that's good enough. Oh wait, no, 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 no! What am I doing? Alright, we're playing 62 cards. I just jam two cards in there, who cares? Don't take anything out. Doesn't matter. Keep. This is the worst deck on Arena to buy skins for, though. <laughs> Holy cow. That's a draw if I've ever seen one. Stone fucking rain. Stone fucking rain. Is this the Ponza deck? Or did that come out of the sideboard? 
that one. <gasps> I don't have double blue! Do not have double blue. Damn it. My triome was so important. This is the Ponza deck. If my land gets killed, I'm fucked. That's fine. Just need blue mana. Graveyard. No. Graveyard. Just draw a blue land. That's not a blue land. That's not a blue land. It was a blue land. I'm an idiot. Oh my goodness. Patrick, wake the fuck up. Alright. We'll get basic island. We'll get basic island. Okay, now we basically are not going to die. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. What can my opponent get that makes us not win? That one! Jesus Christ. Alright, just need a blue land. Graveyard. Blue land. That's red. Wow, I'm super fucking irritated with Stone Rain now. Oh, why did I play it? I'm playing so fucking terrible right now. If I just didn't play this mountain, I'd win the game. Alright, just gotta not die. And not get stone rained. Not good enough. <clears throat> Even though we couldn't have played this any worse. Wait, I don't have a blue land. But that's alright. So now we just have to chill here until our opponent understands. Concede or this just takes longer. I wish there was a decline all button. But anyway, so as soon as this rope runs out, it'll decline our entire deck, and then we'll win the game. This one... 
and tainted packed. It's they're they they're it's a it's a W. Just concede my whole library goes away. Like, you can concede. Is my opponent confused? YouTube help? Like, you could just click the concede button three minutes ago. Some people just hate losing the combo. And they they will do anything to not to not feel so powerless. Even this. This just makes people feel more powerful. You lose! All right, let's take two cards out of our deck this time. Uh, I don't know if this one's any good. Seems bad against the Ponza deck. Let's see, what else do we want? Narset's reversal? To like, kill his stone reigns? I don't know if that's any good. Take this out. Like that one's still okay, right? Ah, we don't need Pact of Negation, do we? Ah, we might. No, we don't. I don't think we need Pact of Negation here. I highly doubt I'm gonna pack like a Primal Command or something. Alright, well after my best, best attempts to throw that game, here we are in number three. Oh yeah, I'll keep this one. This one's good. Play a guy. You gotta help me out, help me out. Riding coasters to dream your ride. Well, as long as I don't get fucking stone rained, I'm in good shape. Uh. Eliminate the Bone Crusher Giant. Like an Ember Cleave is so much better than a Primal Command here, my dude. Hate this shit. Stop killing my lands, you asshole. Alright buddy, you gotta kill me now. Or kill a land. At the very least, you gotta primal command a land.
People hate losing the combo. They hate it. So you can see how powerful this deck is. I didn't even try to win. And my opponent killed my lands. Just won this time, right? Yeah. Whew, almost clicked the wrong thing. Blah, 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 blah. So let me know down in the comments. Anybody else playing this deck? How are you guys loving it? I think this deck is probably the most fun deck in the entire format. Uh, I want to get into some mirrors. I almost want to like get on Discord and see if I can find some players who are pretty serious about it. Sit in some mirror matches and really see like what I'm doing wrong, what I can do better. Because I know like Squaw's insane. Someone like Squaw would be great to sit into some matches with and just talk and discuss like what is important what do you need to look for what are some of the like little cornerstone interactions that you just don't think of naturally or that like what are some of the hoops you can jump through to make really cool stuff happen i don't know this deck's so good though this deck is so much fun to play and like i like i'm kind of biased because i always tell people like it's such an easy deck to build it's kind of not the cards are all over the place, for sure. Like, every set. There's probably one card from every set, right? Amonkhet, boom. There's probably one rare from, like, every set that's on Arena. But because I've been playing since the beta, I've opened a few packs from every set, right? I've probably opened, like, at least, on average, probably 50 packs or more of each set. Some of them, right? Like, some of the Ravnica... Kaldheim and Strixhaven, we've opened like 100 packs. 100, I probably opened 200 Strixhaven packs, but like I've opened a little bit of everything and you just get like right, one here, one there, one here, one there, boom, boom, boom. Like a random M21 Mythic. Some random rares. An Ixalan rare. The lands, right? It's like one of each of the Grixis lands, which is cool because you don't have to spend you know, you don't have to make a set of Zagoth Triomes. You don't have to make a set of Dragon Skull Summons. Although I have a set of these. You don't have to make a set of Spire Bluff Canals. You just need to make one. So it's a cool deck to build. Plus, if you're like a Commander player or Brawl, right? If they ever do Historic Brawl. This is the kind of deck that, like, you're just going to be able to make this your Commander. There's your mana base, right? How many lands is this? 23, boom. You put, like, a couple more basics in there and you've got a Commander deck. It's so good. Oh, Yeah having so much fun what are we at plat four plat three did we just hit plat three yeah we're climbing back up got out of gold i'm gonna burn some more uh burn some more matches with mono red but this grixis deck i just love putting this video up every day so much fun let me know in the comments hit that subscribe button hit that like button tell me what are you playing what are you liking how is your how are your days in the historic going it's just the best that magic's been so far i can't say it enough this this is the best magic has been in a long time and if you are not playing historic you are missing out play historic now i'm serious oh but that's gonna be it for today guys thank you so much for watching all the videos we'll see you tomorrow have a great afternoon thursday right thursday have a great evening take care guys we'll see you soon